Before November 4th, 2002, I was a woman with six kids, a husband, and a flower farm. Our youngest son, Corey Shea, had been hanging around the house and talking about moving back home that day. He always had things handed to him on a silver platter, and he really didn't value life or his own awesome young body. When he left our home, I saw his car pass from our front yard out of the corner of my eye, and I wondered if he had a seatbelt on. No kiss, no hug, no nothing. And then the power went off. I looked up at my husband and said, I hope Corey didn't have anything to do with this. We climbed into the truck and I held onto the door leaning out the window. We drove up to the roadblock and I jumped out of the truck and started running down the road to the scene that waited ahead. I saw a fireman walk toward me. I grabbed onto his eyes with mine and asked him if it was a blue Mazda. The name I gave my last child came from his lips, Corey. My heart sang much to love You heard it and replied From the other side of town You called me in the night I'd like to take it back The pounding of my heart Cause I don't want to feel the sadness As we part it's hard to understand I'll take a different way Because you're my best friend It's a shame I cannot stay I'd like to want it back It's what I'd love to do It's hard for me to feel the pain of losing you Hard for me to feel the pain of losing you So let me think, what do I play next? Um... She must have all these papers and she's searching through them. I want to sing, I want to sing, I want to sing, I want to sing. Just a few songs more, but. Ooh, what do I sing? This is actually the nice thing about Second Life you, you sing and, and read along the text. At least I do that. say she's old, she's crippled, what does she have to live for? But I'm a happy person. I, I like the fact that I'm alive. I appreciate that every morning when I wake up. I think, oh great, I've got another day. <laughs> see my doctor once in a while. I occasionally see the mailman. <laughs> you know, if I'm lucky, somebody will deliver medicine and I'll get to see the person that delivers the medicine. They don't just drop it by the door. That's about it for my social life. I don't see anybody. I don't talk to anybody. And that's pretty, pretty bad, actually. In Second Life, I have friends, I have people that I can talk to, 
I have relationships with people that um, are very personal, very intense, very close. And it's a lot of fun. Yes, I'm a traveler and I'm fast because it wouldn't last. And as I travel life to fast, I left the place. I like a lot of stuff in Second Life. I'm very sociable. I'm shy in this life, but in Second Life, I'm not shy. I like dancing. I like sitting around and talking with people. I love going out in nature. I enjoy going to concerts. Live music is really fun. I like going to art galleries. There's just a lot of stuff to do in Second Life that I wish I could do here in real life, and I can't anymore, so it's fun to do it in Second Life. It's not, it's not a substitute, but it's sure a whole lot better than nothing. I like to find a long mark. Was mir gefallen hat in Second Life, dass ich eben die Möglichkeit habe, ähm, durch diese visuelle Komponente einen Raum herzustellen für die Musik, die ich mache. Ich kann also jeden Tag eine andere Bühne haben, jeden Tag in anderen Welten performen. Und das macht natürlich auch was mit den Leuten. Es gibt ganz andere, man, es saugt einen schon rein. Für mich ist Singen eigentlich eine sehr intime Form des mich Mitteilens. Denn ich, ich wende mich, glaube ich, einem Lied so zu und mit einer Nähe, die ich sonst fast kaum herstellen kann. Und ähm, ich würde das ja nicht so singen, wenn da nicht jemand wäre, der da zuhört und das miterlebt. Und dieses Miterleben ist halt schön, wenn, wenn du merkst, der andere schreibt und bewegt sich und erlebt das. A peaceful time where I just be, just like you bring. Ich muss dafür zu keinem Veranstalter gehen und ihn angraben, bitte lass mich bei dir spielen. Ich muss nicht in einer rauchigen Kneipe sitzen. Ich muss nicht äh, Equipment schleppen. Also ich meine, das ist total bequem. <lacht> I found out from being in Second Life that I don't like being alone in real life. And so I really need to figure out a way to be part of a community in real life. And that's my, next to transportation, that's my biggest struggle. And I suppose it's related because if I could go places, I could go to places where there were people. But when you're stuck in your little room, not much you can do about it. Oh, here's my song. Maybe I want you to hear the song. That's what we're counting. We're counting right now. Take me right back. Send me back on let me go. Everyone is is a model. Uh, my avatar looks like uh, you know a bodybuilder. Uh, obviously, I'm not a bodybuilder, and I don't have a 12-inch penis. Although, in, in virtual reality, I can have a three-foot penis if I wanted to. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi, Pete. Another, Hi, Pete. another wedding. Another wedding. Another wedding. You sure? Look at it. It's amber. Different. It's called amber. Right, it's amber. It's not... Golden amber. I thought we had that before. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot.
This is a vibrator, and the original intent of this device was to be connected to an iPod. And what it does is, through the music that uh, is played on your iPod, it gives different vibration effects. So I had the idea we could incorporate this into Second Life so that uh, someone in San Antonio, Texas could actually operate this vibrator here in Tampa. This is my virtual home and this is, this is my virtual wife. Uh, fire rain. Uh, I tell everyone I love her very much. I love her just as much as I would if uh, she were right here beside me. She's happily married and I have a wife and two children. It's not about infidelity. Even if we're, if we're in a committed relationship, it allows us, and, and I'm sure you've heard before, that you know the brain is, is the most active sexual organ because it is our imagination and the way that we express ourselves that, uh, that gives us the freedom in these environments to, to try things that we normally wouldn't in, in real life. She is more of a partner than she is a wife. Um, you know, she doesn't cook my meals, she doesn't do my laundry, you know, she doesn't pick up the kids from school every day. Uh, we have virtual sex whenever we can in Second Life. Alors, il faudrait que Zad, il faudrait que tu, que tu marches derrière tout le monde et que tu fasses un cercle, que tu passes derrière la boîte aux lettres, toi. Top. Bouge plus. Ok, Kungen, I'm, I'm going to ask you to come just a little closer to me, closer to the camera. Perfect. Don't move. So, as soon as I'm going to say action, you start, you, you wave at me. Attention. Action. Yeah, oh, sh fuck. Listen, listen, Kungen, I don't think it's, it's possible to do it right now. There, there's two guys there, and then... Oh man, there are three of them coming. Uh, what about we'll, we log out and come back again in about 20 minutes? Okay, let, let, let's log out. Sorry, man. You smell nice and you're groovy and we both like foreign movies. My mother says you have that touch of class. Well, I can see a shining future Where we'll dialogue and nurture But, but there's one last thing I feel I need, I need to add. I'm never thinking of... I never expect any reaction from the, from the audience. I'm doing something that, that, I, that I would find cool and I would, I would like to see. Do you take it in the ass? Do you take it in the ass? Machinima is a, is a movie made in a virtual world. The main thing is that you, you have an entire world you can play with. You, you have actors, you can choose, you can dress, you can change, and uh, you can animate the way you want. Here I got the sea. I put my boat here. I made a little rain and then I decided to add a lightning strike at the beginning of the scene and then some light effects on the boat and on the sea and the sky around when the lightning is striking.
the scene is lasting four seconds and it took me about four hours to do to do this. I know it. Let me see that again. I'll do the. Uh, this is gonna get me medicated very well. Really well. Watch. That didn't. I think that requires a joint. Look at this. It's a rubber with metal on my teeth. Yeah. I can figure something better out sleeping taking a shit. But I don't have arms, so give me an engineer. I'll tell you how to do it. I've had the idea for seven years. Six years now, excuse me. Six and a half. Still got... No, oh wait, he's sitting me up, huh? Yep. I gotta follow this bastard to this horrible place. I hate this place. I'm always getting stuck in the green goo. <laughs> That's why probably why they put it there. Yeah. Well, this is one of the original cities. It's a fighting game, but it's more um, like an aggression thing that I I, I have no way of. Um, to really show aggression other than that. Yeah. So that's where I show my aggression. Usually while I like, don't like dueling people, because if I win, I have to tell them. <laughs> then they feel bad. I've had people literally quote that they want to quit the game now. Like, dude, I'm done. I'm <laughs> like, no, dude, it's okay. He's <laughs> a smart monkey. That's not good. We need to do some parsing on that one. Sometimes he gets the grammar wrong. So if I said apple is fruit, he would say aren't all fruit apple. I mean, that's the grammar of how he does his artificial intelligence. Most of the time, sometimes he screws up. How about that? It helps me stand up. 
I've never pushed it to its limits. I don't know how far it will go. That's how far it will go. So I can, from here, I'm tilted forward and forward. My legs are under me. So I can just stand like that. That's pretty cool. A little over a year ago, there were three of us who knew each other in an internet setting. And we had been talking about why we as disabled people had a real problem because we didn't feel part of the community that we lived in geographically. We decided to look at virtual reality. We explored a number of different virtual reality settings and at that time Second Life was the best. So the three of us came in and we started exploring in Second Life looking for the community that we desired and we couldn't find it. We realized we needed to make that community. We had some land donated to us and we started setting up a group of people that we knew to do anything major other than have a group of people that hung out together, we would need to have a real life corporation. So it does a group called Virtual Ability. It has an island called also Virtual Ability and that island has a disability friendly orientation facility on it. So that's one of the projects that we're doing in Second Life. And it's all about building a community of support, which is what we personally were looking for. So now we have it. If I were going to pick out a career for my husband, I don't know if that's what I would pick. I believe, uh, I believe I'm a success because I, I actually use the products that I create. Um, I, I am, not only am I a merchant, but I'm also a participant. Sex is one of the reasons people come into Second Life. I think people who are non-disabled and can have sex in real life come into Second Life for fantasy sex. And I think people who are disabled and de-sexed by society come into Second Life have any kind of sex. We have a BDSM, a bondage community, and we have the Gorians and elves and the furries. The bondage and discipline communities, they're very, very specific about what, uh, what it is that they want. those types of animations would be done differently than, say, uh, a typical male-female-human interaction. I wouldn't enjoy the success that I have if I were the only one out there masturbating at these images and these interactions. Alors, on a besoin d'être débouché. I think uh, sex is, is what lacks in, uh, in World of Warcraft. It, uh, the world is complete, you know, you got uh, everything that's happening in real life and you don't have sex anywhere. In World of Warcraft you don't have penis or vagina, but some people are very inventive. 
Uh, and you can, they can pretend they're having sex, you know. Oh, yeah. I find it very funny to, to make videos about it uh, with the characters of World of Warcraft because it, say, it stays very soft, you know, it's not that realistic and uh, it becomes funny. That's the award I won at the Worldwide Invitational uh, for the best machinima, best movie and best, uh, best editing. I'm fucking proud of it, yeah. <laughs> and they look awesome, they're beautiful. My main character is a gnome and uh, my roleplay is a funny roleplay. I have a... Uh, my gnome spend this time bugging people. That's what I like about gnomes, is that they are funny and they, they can make silly things that nobody, nobody will notice. If, you were, if I were an elf, there would be no way for me to act like this uh, without being called crazy, crazy the, the crazy elf. I'm not the crazy gnome, I'm, I'm just a gnome, that's all. <laughs> Okay, I have bread, barbecued chicken, Ritz, dry salami, chicken, no, squash. chicken, barbecue, we have barbecue sauce. So, so don't get, get that shredded chicken. barbecue chicken? Yeah, get the bad one, we're going to use a bag of chicken too. Oh, okay, we'll yeah. More barbecue sauce. Okay. See how expensive the lights were in the wall? Yeah. It takes him until noon before he's ready to do anything. And I get there at seven in the morning. So for five hours, he's trying to get up. For us, we just pop out of bed, stretch sometimes, you know, run around, make our coffee, do our thing. But for him, it takes him five hours to get in the driver's seat of his life. I'm on a mission. Right now, my mission is getting my son to the point where he can make it more on his own. Right now, my life merged with his life. His life and my life, one life. If, if I'm at home, that means I don't get to go play WoW for 12 hours a day. I get to sit there and watch TV. No. And run the show and scheduling. Because yeah, when you're in a is... hospital, they schedule. Yeah, they you do what they want you to do and they tell you to do. Or you get disciplined for it. Here, I do what I want to do. I'm thinking about doing, uh, getting a colostomy bag, so I don't know. If, if that happens, then it will be whenever, you want. whenever I want to get up, whenever I want to go, go down. It would, it would cut the restrictions off of my life and my mom's. Uh, 
don't know, it's fun to be, I never thought I'd say it, but it's, it's actually kind of fun to be Kribble. It's a lazy life, but it's, it works. Sarah is 24 years old, and a 24-year-old young woman should not be the primary caregiver of an older woman. She should be out on her own, and that would be the best possible solution if she had a job, could be in her own apartment, and if I had some help for the things that I have trouble doing. Hello, dog. You already had your hair brushed. My turn. I like my mom. I truly, utterly, and completely like my mom. And if she needs help, I will help her. I mean, I know she's looked at uh, assisted living centers, and she didn't like them at all. And she wants to be able to do things. And in that kind of situation, she really wouldn't have the ability to do so. If I can give her what she needs, and she doesn't need that much, I mean, Going shopping isn't that too hard. Because I mean, that's stuff I would have to do for myself. So I just double up and it's no big deal for me and it helps her so much more. No, you don't, you can type your questions. Can you hear me, Ronan? I see you as having voice activated. This is the introduction to the peer review of open textbooks project. It's important to understand, if you haven't taught in a while, how students in, in university settings are taught to read a textbook. Because this is a little bit different than probably we were taught. We I remember that when, textbooks. in between the time when she so was out of work and then she found the um, second a life, a it seemed to me that the way she spoke, she kind of lisped, and now that she's talking more with people on Second Life, she's getting that back. You are going to have to sell yourself and your abilities to the client. What's really nice about this is that all of the people doing the evaluation are people with disabilities. So we've, we're actually training people with disabilities in a skill set that then they can use to get additional employment. So we'll be certifying them that they know how to do these different kinds of evaluations. I think that's really cool. And plus, we're able to pay them a real wage. This isn't pretend work, this is real work. Zada, tu commences à... Putain, mais c'est qui ce con là C'est qui le gnome Vous le connaissez tu, tu peux lui dire de partir Voilà. Uh, can you please move on your left Yeah, F face, face the camera. Oh, okay, stop. Don't move. This one is good. Okay, let's do that. Action. Great. C'est bon, on l'a. <laughs> My name is Thomas Bengtsson, and I work as a guild leader for Encidia. The biggest guild ever in the world. The second I log on, it's like, boom, like 50 tells just, hi, what's up, blah, blah, blah. No failure. No excuses. No lies. Only the 
best of the best players on earth. And Celia. I, I never think about bad things like getting sick or breaking your leg or getting a disease that would keep you from doing what makes you happy. Unless I lose my legs or something, then I would probably lose my uh, will to live. <laughs> who, who wouldn't? Currently, when there's no progress, we we only I'm only logged in like five to ten hours a week, maybe. I always love the start at expansions because then you actually have a lot to do in the game, and uh, I always play so much that I kind of finish the expansion in three weeks when it should last a year. <laughs> but I mean, those weeks are fun. I, I would probably I mean I've been playing the game for so long now. So if I didn't get money, I would play it at a lot less casual level. I wouldn't put in as much time as I do now. I don't think so. I'm I'm too old for that now. The honest answer is that I I <laughs> that I never want to work a normal day job, ever. Let's pump it on the bus. Let's move from the five. Move from the five. Get away from the five. Just move from the defied. It's the only thing that can wipe us. Thanks, they're just gonna die now. Let's see. Thank you. Ooh. First time we kill it on the first try. <laughs> Today we're gonna learn what is a red. A red is a group of players going deep in a dungeon trying to kill some huge monster called the boss to get precious rewards. To start a red, you need at least a tank. This solid guy is like a shield protecting the red. His job is to make sure he is the only one that gets hurt. To keep the tank alive, it takes a bunch of heroes. Their job is to heal and to heal again. To kill the boss, it takes a few damage dealers too. Their job is to make as much damage per second as they can. When every player does his job, the boss dies, and the rewards are distributed. You now know what is a raid. Thanks for watching. If you look like at my World of Warcraft career, we are number one, and then maybe some random guild is number one, and then it's us again, and then a new, new random guild. It's never the same other guilds that are in the top, so they never get like the real fame, if you say like that. <laughs> you see, fanboys. Kanske. <laughs> Kanske. Uh, I don't. I don't even know how it started, but like when I, when I was like uh, just chilling in the town in the game, people just started giving me gold, and then people just suddenly started giving me more and more gold just to get my attention. I don't know why they do it, but it's quite fun. So, I mean, if, if I want gold, I can just go chill in Orgrimmar, one of the Horde main cities. <laughs> so I, I don't really have to play the game to get gold, I can just AFK and just press trade. <laughs>
上兵上兵上兵，那些五啊，你怎么不上兵？咱开人一脚过来，开人一脚过来，开人开人打断打断打断两个进攻，打断。往前走快，往前走快，往前走，让 MC 打死你。啊？嗯，让 MC 砍死你不就翻了吗？要不然你可能时间不够了。嗯。好，哎，打我吧，往前继续走。你叫你那么个那什么？就要这效果，要不然你还时间不够了，赶紧复活。哦，绞肉，快快快快快！<笑>如果我看到有人在那个矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上矿上一款游戏，正常的玩家玩的时间短，而我们玩的时间很长，也是会让我们没办法去那个生产和工作。在魔兽里，现在想赚钱的话还是可以的。如果你是职业专业，就是为了赚钱的话，其实一个月的话还是能赚到一，还能赚到足够的生活费。呃，也只限于在中国的嗯经济发展不是太好的地区。如果像是北京、上海、广东那种那种地方的话。还是做不起来，因为如果你是靠那个游戏，在这几个大城市里面，你是会被活活饿死的。When I cross uh, someone who is farming, uh, I feel sad. Honestly, I really feel sad because it's、uh, the prices are amazing. You got ten thousand, ten thousand gold for twenty、uh, euro or something, you know. And ten、uh, thousand gold to me.、Uh, I'm not fond of making of gold in Warcraft, but、uh, it will take me a, about、uh, about a week to do that. A week of、uh, five hour each night playing. So, so that means、uh, that means that these people are pay less than that, less than twenty euro. Certainly, much much less than twenty euro a week to 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 do that、uh, eight or ten hours a day. So that that that's really uncool. My mother, um, at first, working, I was also for the family, because at that time, my income from the family was not very much. If I don't go to work, I can't eat enough to survive. So I had to go out and work for the money I had to make. 任何一个工作都可以，只要是不违法，没有其他的事情可以让我做。但确实，我的母亲后来同意，但是她也希望我能很快离开这个东西。即使是喜欢游戏，嗯、呃，也可以就是工在其他的工作之后继续玩。对呀、啊，你不打到这儿了吗？打到这儿呀。<笑><笑>
这个是，这是很久没没。咱别这样说了哈，这镜子又实惠。是，还快，还快，一下就好了。<笑>然后就是把那个号又充了卡，然后上线，准备继续工作。刚充上了那个时间，然后登录游戏，还没有做什么。短短一天时间内，然后他会给你写一个信，就是呃，游戏公司会给你一封信，信里面就告诉你你的账号呃有过非法交易，然后呢，而且而且你而且判定你是一个中国的游戏 IP， 你不是一个正常的我们国内的玩家。I need gold. Oh, gold. Woo! Yeah, I got that bike, the, the new motorcycle. So I traded herbs in the game. So you can pick herbs in said game, and then trade them. So Blizzard loves it when you trade herbs for gold. So wonderful to have medicine for Corey. I don't have to worry about it. We couldn't afford it. It's so expensive to buy. I don't see how anybody does it. He's growing clones for me for next year. So when I put my plants in, they'll be bigger. And that we have my babies he's raising for next season. He decides what we grow because he's the main smoker. That's, he's the main reason I do it. No meat. Make no mold. There's no minute. Asta nakata ya moga. Nakata isaka moko tega. That's my troll, uh, my cooking troll. In each never stay tuned, you have this character that comes in and gives uh, some kind of cooking lesson. Sometimes it's just a lesson about how to catch gnomes. Ah, When, I, when the extension uh, World of the Lich came uh, out, I had people telling me that one of my characters was, uh, was in, in the game. And uh, I had problems to, be, to believe that. To me, the fact that it's a video game, and, uh, and a video game that I love, uh, it's, very, it's huge, it's, uh, it's very important. And in a persistent world, you know, 11 million players around the world playing Warcraft. That means that uh, I say at least a hundred of them are right now <laughs> asking for recipes <laughs> to a character I created. That that's great. That feels great. <laughs> What we have here is um, two synchronized animations, and we're going to prepare these two animations for upload in Second Life. So I would go to my shop and find a suitable place, and I already have a place in mind. Nice open area here. I'd create a poster, and I would place the animation inside the object and set it for sale, whatever price I determine, say 100 lindens, 
100 lindens is about 35 cents, so we have to sell a lot of animations. May I sit? Thank you. I welcome you to my office, which is way up in the sky above Virtual Ability Island. And I uh, appreciate having you here this morning. Well, thanks for the invite. So we probably need to think about needs of the community. And that will probably give us a hint towards what we would want our outcomes to be. The motion capture piece is something that is of interest to us, not about sex. We're not even to that part, mm -hmm. but for dancing. We've right. got lots of dances in Second Life that an able-bodied person can do. We've managed, mm -hmm. we've managed to find a subset of those that work for a person in a wheelchair. But mm -hmm. if you are a person in a wheelchair in Second Life with a partner who is a walkie, there are mm -hmm. no dances to do that. And yet in real life, there are whole competitions, ballroom dancing for people with one partner in a wheelchair and one partner standing. And we'd love to have some of those animations, but it, so far we haven't been able to find anybody who can do that for us. Well, you just did. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that would be all, cool. Do you dance? All I need, all I need, we can start. I, I like to think I can dance. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's let's do some fun stuff. I'd like to see some dances that would put some smiles on faces. Cool. That would be very cool. Well, I got to run. Um, sorry to sorry to scoot out so quick, but uh, we got a big day planned today. Great seeing you. All right. Well, thank you for stopping bye. by today. Okay. Bye bye. I like that tree too. I like dead trees. I don't know why. Well, I like that um, half dead, half alive one. Yeah. You're correct. This is what the water looked like going over the rocks yesterday mm -hmm. in the canyon. Oh, all whipply? Yeah. So, look up a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. The reason that I'm using a power wheelchair now is because I'm considered a high fall risk. The fatigue just got so much, and the, frankly, I have trouble finding words sometimes. I would hate to be an MS neurologist because there's no cure for this disease. There's no way to predict what's going to happen. It's very difficult to diagnose. What kind of hope can you give your patients? Mm -hmm. I didn't say anything about bats, but they probably are. Sarah's saying she's bored because we were just here a month ago, and I'm looking at this and saying, I don't remember this. <laughs> so that's one of the advantages of losing your mind, I guess, is that you can experience new things over and over and over again. They're always new. I like being outside when there's other people outside, even if I'm not interacting with them, when the kids ride by on their bicycles or they're playing outside. It's nice to know that you're not just isolated in your own life, that there's other life going on around you. I would love to have a partner. It's very difficult for a person my age to find someone. I think it's, well, it's a combination of the age, the disability probably doesn't help any. Once I've met someone, I'm fine. But it's that first step that's very difficult. And when you can't even physically go out and meet someone, it's extremely difficult. Ja, beweg mal ruhig den Kopf so ein bisschen, Chef. Nein, das ist zu enge Hosen, genau. Ja.
Aber jetzt versuch mal da ich unten wirklich zu. Das wird doch schön morgen. Also wenn ich mir die, 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 die Zukunft von Second Life vorstelle, vielleicht bin ich bettlägerig, ich kann nach Second Life reingehen und kann mich informieren. Und ich glaube, ähm, so Dienstleistungssachen, das kann man halt äh, in der 3D-Welt noch mal ganz anders abbilden. Wir fangen natürlich wie immer, wir sind vielleicht ein paar neu hier, aber wie immer fangen wir mit einem Kanon an. Start. Okay, in neutral. We are cuddling. Okay, lean your head like this. I mean, on that way. Keep turning. Keep turning. Rock and rock. And rock, and rock. Slow. Slow. Hey, ow. Squeeze. Hey, ow. <laughs> But think of this fun. I feel so <laughs> Now, Stroker pretty much just covers it all. Oh, yeah, it says Stroker. Stroke her. Right? Stroker. Right. Done, there's Do you need a clip so that you can eat without I hair in your mouth? I probably should. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little bit like a, a snail. I pull her out of her shell and, I, and we, we go out and do a few different things. <laughs> you do <Yeah>. what? <laughs> Would you like to be a little more specific? I get you out of the house. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know where car go. <laughs> We go in your car. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> We do get this way. 
the first contact was, was on the internet with Match.com. You contacted me. Yes. And uh, to be polite, I said, okay, I will meet you. No, actually, to be polite, the first time you said... Okay. <laughs> the second time I said, okay, I'll meet you. <laughs> the first time, he, the first time he said, no, thank you. <laughs> and we met, in, we met in a grocery store. That was mm -hmm. sort of a strange situation. Yeah. Because we were going to have Starbucks together. And we sat down and we were there for a long yeah. time. We discovered when we got there that the Starbucks was inside the grocery store. Which is very odd. And then we just talked. We just talked and talked. And we found out we're pretty good friends. Yes, very good friends. Why well, you yeah, contacted I, me, I don't know. <laughs> you want to see some of the other guys' profiles, Jim? <laughs> Oh, I'm less bad, is Yes, you're less bad. Far less bad. Constitution of the United States. We the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, to ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. I don't know any people right off the top of my head that are smarter than she is. She's very intelligent. She knows so many things. And she's in a situation where her memory is going and she recognizes that and she doesn't like that but so she, she lives with it. Yellow pigments used to color ceramics include left parent ZR comma V right parent O2 which retains the structure of bedelliite. But I think that's bedelliite. Yeah I think you had that. And you at least have some blanks over here. That's true. I'm not going to read the title, though, because mine has been crossed out. Is right. yours crossed out, too? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, let's change positions in chairs. Sounds good. Okay. A group picture. There's two of us, and it's a group. What does that say? I don't think I like that theory. I'm not so, so sure I like that either. <laughs> Where are you? Are you the darker-haired or the lighter-haired? She's the blonde. I'm the, light, I'm the darker hair. Okay. Gentle Heron. Oh, I see your name above you. Sorry, I'm a total. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's okay. We're all labeled. Turn to your right, which is the right arrow. Just turn. And you're going to walk towards ladies. There you go. A little bit more. Oh, you're doing well. I like the way I walk. You have a very nice walk. Thank you. I didn't invent it, but I can appreciate it. <laughs> and this is your podium. That's and very cool. if you look at yourself, you look like you're giving a speech. Your hands are moving on the podium like you're turning your pages. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're good at it. Thank you. I'm trying really hard. I'm totally out of my comfort zone, but winging it. The only thing we have to do now is to um, figure out what parts of the book I'm reading. So um, I, I liked this little part. About a week before his accident, Corey got a speeding ticket in our district. I told him to slow down. I told him that he was precious and wonderful and well. I told him all that could change in a second. I asked him if the ticket had taught him a lesson. Yes, he said it had. It taught him to keep a better eye out for cops. The level of my frustration with this boy could only be felt by another mother of a cocky young son high on his immortality. Oh, yeah. I like the communication. I used to sell at the market and have a lot of um, social activity that way. Now I don't. I'm beginning to catch on what it's about.
I've got um, Romulan sitting on the couch in a basket with a plastic bag over it, so. Ugh. Yeah, I think I'm going to go home and finish. Well, I'm processing. Okay, I'm going to go. Safe will we eat right here. <laughs> and we need to get I still want to get the crazy colored dragon. Okay. Just anyway. You, you just keep that in mind. Make notes of what you want and we'll get it. It's an ongoing thing. You know that Star Wars cartoon yeah. on Adult Swim that has those? It looks like avatars. Those people. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Now that I've seen avatars, I'm curious about them. So, in his home, he has his computer, thank God. And thank God for the World of Warcraft and <laughs> Second Life. Seriously. Totally. As soon as we got home, the first thing I started thinking was, what does he like to do? What does he always like to do that he can still do? And that's when I thought, the computer, gaming. So we got online and we found that mouse stick, that same mouse stick he has today. I, the thing I like the most about Corey is he's always real. In the beginning, if I'd say something like, I just don't understand why, he would very slowly say, my car wrecked. I hit a pole. I broke my neck. I'm paralyzed. <laughs> Now do you understand? Ugh. So plant a good one, I'm away from it. Plant a good one, I guess. Right now, all the guilds are in the same two buses, basically. So right now you have uh, one, two, three, f four guilds at the same point. It's us, Paragon, Method, and Ford the Horde. We're all on the same two buses, so we'll see what happens. Oh, what's up? I looked at all my buffs and I couldn't even get lost. Oh, fuck. Fucking idiot. We're just getting raped all over. Fuck. Uh, it sucks so much because we almost killed it yesterday and now we have five new people. So now it's gonna take long to learn for them to learn like everything again. We recruit people with the mindset of it's the people that want to be the best. So most of these people are already really motivated. If someone in the guild is performing badly, then they are, are obviously not going to be in our guild anymore longer. How the fuck did you jump away while facing the machine? Make sure to stand together perfectly now. What are you doing? He is not going down faster than me. Focus now. Be ready for explosion. Shut the fuck up. Focus. Now it's more like, it's more a relief when you win now. Because most people expect uh, Nsidia to be number one. So if, if we lose, it's really bad. I'm, I'm not happy with the, how it's been going for us. I mean, we want to be first and we haven't, so it, it's bad. Getting world second or world third, it's crap. For me, I, I don't enjoy it.
很少有白天在玩游戏，一般我都是在夜间进行，呃，进行游戏，因为在夜间的时候，无论，就是无论是，呃，你采集，或者是你去哪里，玩家很少，这样的话便于就是便于我们赚钱的速度。因为同样一个地图里面，你在白天的时候可能有，就是几个人在这个在这里进行搜集，就是或者是采集。我和杨是在同一个公司认识的，我去的地方正是他，不，自己说没有用。我和杨是在同一个公司认识的。在公司打游戏，嗯，比较有约束性。嗯嗯，有因为有老板在，然后你不太能做别的事情，然后就是挣的钱比较多，在家比较自由，嗯，想干什么都都行。但是，嗯，因为没有别人约束，嗯。打游戏的时间比较少，所以挣挣钱不太好。而他给我带来的呃带来的一些害处就是，我现在的嗯的，我现在的睡眠顺序已经完全被打乱。一天不管什么时候睡，也就是睡五到六个小时就醒，嗯，就呃就清醒了。那也只是一一、呃、很短的时间，之后可能只过了几个刚睡醒几个小时后，就感觉非常的困。但是吧，躺下还睡呃躺下的时候还睡不着，嗯，也也许这就是算是玩电脑这个职业的一种职业病。Going to start reading. Today we have an author who is going to read from her ongoing memoir about her son Corey. Eight years ago, Corey was in a car wreck and he broke his neck. His mother became his supporter and caregiver. Both of them have been changed by this experience. Corey, hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to do a reading from. The book that I wrote regarding my sons and my experience with spinal cord injury. The name of the book is The Length of a Breath. If you are looking at this or hearing this, I wrote it for you. I am driven to make something good come from this tragedy in our lives. I am passionate about sharing our experience and adding a human touch to the information on spinal cord injury. If you are in a hospital or someone you love has an injured spinal cord, your world has changed. My own life has been divided into two parts: before and after my son's injury. We're now at the emergency room at Enlo Hospital in Chico. I held my hand on my son's heart and comforted him. He kept talking and telling me what a lousy son he was, and I told him he was a perfect son. He told me he had broken a promise to God not to steal from me, and he did it again. So God broke his neck. I told him all I ever had or ever would have was also his. He could not steal that which I give to him. I would give everything for him. Please live, my child. Please live. Um, as you can tell, Mom's a phenomenal uh, writer. She's pretty much chronicled her life. Since about nineteen, and I'm just a little chapter in it. You're a big chapter, Corey. Well, yeah, a big chapter, a hard chapter to read, but um, I want everybody to at least. I'm gonna try to start up something, and I'll probably Alice will help me, and、uh, we will get things done. But、um, 
pretty much we're just here to help everybody. I come here every, every couple of weeks probably. I just sit here and it's a nice calm place and just a nice place to sit. This was a memorial that was made for the Sojourner. She died very suddenly over a year ago and I felt like I'd lost a sister. And I, I still sometimes think, I need to tell Soj about this. And then I remember, I can't tell Soj about that. Jim and I used to spend every weekend together, we'd spend at least one day on the weekend and sometimes an evening. We'd go to concerts or lectures or meetings and we spent a lot of time together. And now that he has a girlfriend, he can't obviously spend that much time with me anymore. So basically I see him Thursday nights when we go to recording for the blinds and dyslexic, so that's about it. Even a friendship relationship, not just a partner relationship, but relationships take time and energy and effort. And looking for that relationship also takes effort and energy. And I can't, I, I barely have enough energy just to live, to, to, to take that energy that I would need to look is more than sometimes I think I can handle. You have to keep some some time for real life when you are <laughs> when you have a family. Before I had uh, this girlfriend and this daughter, um, I was living at night. You know, I was. Uh, I was waking up about uh, 3 p.m. and uh, sleeping about 8 and then going to sleep at 8 a.m. I was uh, watching people going to work while smoking my last cigarette and then going to bed. If I'm counting uh, all my character, I must, I've must have, I must have played about a year <laughs> in World of Warcraft, but I mean really a year. <laughs> That's the definition of geek or uh, the definition of uh, online uh, vacation. <laughs> I had one year in vac of vacation in a virtual world and I'm going there still. <laughs> Today in this beautiful weather. As a family, please bless this food to the nourishment of our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Are you married in Second Life? Mm -hmm. So you had a Second Life wedding? Mm -hmm. Did um, Nancy come to your Second Life wedding? Mm -hmm. Nancy performed it. I guess it really is a second life. 
Can I use your red pen? Mm -hmm. That doesn't bother you at all? A little bit. Sometimes. Depends on my mood. <laughs> <laughs> Depending upon how loved you feel. Yeah. And then when you're the number one. There shouldn't be any numbers. Don't tell your other wife that. It shouldn't be all of them. It's been very difficult, uh, the publicity, um, <coughs> for my family. Um, uh, cyber sex is very titillating to the media. Um, they don't understand it. Uh, <coughs> I've had to be very responsible when it comes to my children and my family and our privacy. Uh, both of my children know that we do adult-oriented uh, sexual animations. Uh, they both know that Stroker is not only an avatar, but he's a marketing tool. Um, so it's been a it's been a it's been a tough road. Although I, I love to party, I love to have fun, and I love to be in crowds, I'm more of a private person. I am a family man. I can't stay away from home very long. I miss my children. Uh, my wife, beautiful, uh, supportive, intelligent woman who has <clears throat> been with me step by step all along the way, and they are the core of my life. Before the accident, I was probably like everybody else. That's why I always give people slack about it because until it's affected you, you have no idea what it feels like. This book was sort of opening, us, opening up my soul and telling people, ow, this hurts, this is horrible, but this is what we did, this was our story, this is how we came out of it. In Second Life, there are a lot of people that are disabled and that can't get out and can't do things. And the thought that there is a library that they can go to and get a book and just pick it up and read it is awesome. And maybe I could help them. That's the whole purpose. My greatest wish today would be for my mom to be more independent and be able to experience life. That's pretty much it. Move on a set regret, suck on a pass, and time moves on. It isn't meant to last. appreciate that multicultural feature in Second Life. It's great to have friends, and I have friends from Berlin who I got to see. That's really exciting. And here I sit and watch the couples passing by, and I am asking why. really part of my freedom, I guess, part of getting back my freedom, that I know I can do this. Mm -hmm. 